What's up guys and welcome back to another W204 video. If you own a preface lift and you have a steering wheel like this or buttons like this but on a different type of steering wheel, today I'm going to show you how you can completely replace the button switch rather than replacing individual buttons. Now we all know owning a W204 preface lift or facelift, the buttons are very fragile and over a long period of time after pressing them for a while, they tend to break and peel off. Now, there are other dodgy ways to fix this. Now, I say dodgy because I've even done it myself, where you simply buy the stickers and you place it over the top. But the thing is, it's not 100% accurate and it doesn't feel the way it's supposed to. In the end, you are driving a Mercedes-Benz, so you want everything to be perfect. I myself know what it's like to use adhesive stick-ons, such as matte silver ones and the problem there is you no longer get the 100% brightness of the buttons after you replace it so today I'm going to show you how you can completely replace the entire button assembly and make it look brand new once again first thing you need to do is remove the steering wheel from the car now remember when you remove the steering wheel from the car you always have to disconnect the battery because when you remove the airbag and unplug it you will get an airbag light error if you do not disconnect the battery first. So make sure you disconnect the battery and then do exactly what I'm gonna do right now. To remove the airbag, you need a T25 torque screw. Inside here is where your torque screw is. So if you look inside, you can see that there is a Torx in there, T25. Undo it. Don't worry about the screw, it will not come out. It is designed to stay inside. And then your airbag pops out. Then you have these two plugs, these control your paddle shifters. If you don't have paddle shifters, you won't have to worry about this. Simply unplug it. After we do this, I'm also gonna show you how to remove the paddle shifters and swap them out if you have to as well. So we get a T20, and now we need to remove the buttons from the airbag, because that's where it's installed. One, two, and lucky last three here. Now we can lift it from here and wiggle it out. Unplug it. From here, you need to go down to a T10 Torx bit. What you don't notice straight away is that there's only three screws, but I had to figure this out by looking at the WIS manual. You had to peel this back in order to reveal one more screw. So now all you need to do is remove four of these screws. And it really is that easy, guys. Now, lift it with the top coming up, like so. That way, everything stays intact. Grab your new switch and line it up accordingly. So you see these tabs here? They have to line up like that. You also see it here. It has to line up, see? And just like it does here as well. You always line up these little triangles. You now can put in all your screws. Once again, now you can also replace just this button if you had to for any reason. And the way this goes on is simply like this. So you see this triangular piece here, it twists on and off. So when you twist it clockwise, it goes back on and you can get it off by simply twisting it counterclockwise and then it comes off. We want it back on so we'll leave it like that now you just line it up inside here and you plug it back in okay, now just make sure all your buttons are feeling right they feel good you just have to replace all your screws and you are pretty much done that's how easy it is guys to replace the entire the entire button assembly rather than just trying to replace just the buttons itself. Now we'll also do the same to the other side right here. So we'll undo these. Okay, we'll unplug it after. It kind of helps to lift it out from this plug as well, in case you don't get it out in one go. And there we go. Now you can see for this one, the button stayed inside here. That just simply comes on and off like I just showed you. Line it up like so and then you twist it in so you undo it by twisting it counterclockwise and then lifting it up you undo the four t10 torx screws 
that's that hidden screw right here right way up and just simply lift it grab your new one line it up remember we had all these tabs that we had to line up right here as you can see right there so you just line that up there we are put back all your screws and you are good to go now don't go for gold here guys just do it tight enough so that it's snug you don't want to over tighten it here and accidentally break something it is electronics after all now i want to do a full video on this because doing a short doesn't give you enough information all right and now before you put it back in just give it a quick test run make sure all the buttons depress that's perfect And there we are. Now we can put it back in. Line up our screw holes once again. And just put back in all our screws. And just like that, we have successfully replaced all our buttons for our steering wheel. Making it look 100% perfect once again. Rather than giving it that dodgy look of you know matte silver covers etc i said i was going to show you guys also how you can replace the paddle shifters and i'm going to show you that now so all you're going to need here is a t10 torx right and it really is as simple as removing two of these torx screws so say you've broken yours for some reason it's broken or you know you've accidentally hit it in the car well remove these two pull and it does come out this easily Look at that. You're able to remove them and replace them. As long as your paddle shifters are the exact same shape as this and it has these two torque screws, you're able to use them and replace them and make them look a whole lot nicer. And then you do the same to the other side. Just simply T10 torques, undo, undo, and then simply Pull off. Feed the cable all the way through. Keep it horizontal when you go to take it out like that and push it through like this. And that's how you completely remove your paddle shifters if you had to for any reason. It is just a reversal of removal. So this here is the left side. Now let me show you how you put it back in, right? So the gap where you push the cable through is right here. There is a little opening there. So you grab your cable and you see your opening just here, right? You push this through just like that and you feed it through. Just like that. There we go. Perfect. Feed it all the way through and then this only goes in one way. You follow the shape as you can see the shape here. Put it back on and then replace your T10 torque screws. There's one, there's two. There's one there, two. So we know positive is on the right, negative is on the left. Up gear, down gear. Cable through here, as you can see right there, you push it in, you feed it through, feed the cable all the way through, and then you line up your paddle shifter, hold it in place, as you put in your two T10 Torx screws. And it's all done, look at that. So guys, that's how easy it is to replace the buttons on your steering wheel as well as your paddle shifters if you wanted to for any reason. Brand new buttons for your steering wheel once again and even paddle shifters so i really hope you found this video helpful guys and if you did don't forget to like share comment subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video this is mike with mikey's vlogs signing off see you in the next one